Check out the snow, the house. Check out the smile. Hey, y'all. I want to. It's New Year's, as they call it here in Babylon. So, let me quit saying Babylon. My auntie don't like when I call this Babylon. But, um, I wanted to talk to y'all. I don't know if y'all know Crystal the Great on Twitter, but she has a quote that says, I'm far from perfect, but even further from being fucked up. <clears throat> and I heard that, and I was like, I like that. I'm far from being perfect, but either farther from being fucked up. And the reason that I like it is it's, it's true. You know, and sometimes, you know, we be, I wish I was more this, and I wish I was more that, and making these punk-ass resolutions and shit, and I've done them before too. But the truth is, you all right. You know what I'm saying? You the fuck all right. And every flower ain't going to bloom at the same damn time. And if you've been having problems for shit for years, they just probably ain't going to clear up overnight. Now, I'm not saying that they can because, she, I believe in miracles in my Whitney Houston voice. But, she, you know, <clears throat> you don't have to wait till New Year's to make a resolution. You can... <clears throat> my voice sound real raggedy, but I'm going to tell you what the fuck I did this morning. I was so tired, I got up and drunk some cappuccino. And everybody know that milk ain't nothing but motherfucking cow nut. And this shit <clears throat> is in my throat. Get cow milk supposed to be motherfucking for cow babies and shit. Cow milk ain't for grown human people. And I know that shit. You know, black people don't supposed to consume this shit. We don't consume this shit. And I keep on fucking doing shit that I know is against my nature. But anyway, <clears throat> now I keep going, uh-uh-uh. Because dairy, you know, causes mucus. We all know that. We know that if you sit a cup of motherfucking milk in 98 degree weather, that shit gonna spoil. That's what the fuck you do in our bodies. And we know that, but still, you know, we do what we do. I digress. Anyway, <clears throat> You know, I want us to stop beating up on ourselves. You know, I have made a video. I need to post it this call. This ain't New Year's. Anyway, you know, we make these New Year's resolutions, and if we don't go through with them, we feel really bad. The truth of it is, it's not New Year's any motherfucking way. So, therefore, don't feel fucked up about it. And the truth is, if you make it a promise to renew yourself in the day of the winter, that ain't really likely to happen any motherfucking way. Regardless of when you make these promises and resolutions, you know, um... You got to have your mind motherfucker right. Regardless of what time it is in the year. If your mind ain't right. <clears throat> you going to be fucked and fucked around in the same night. In my turn. It's Thomas voice. <clears throat> See I keep. <clears throat> Y'all know I don't. <clears throat> I don't blow my nose and shit. <clears throat> See. That's con consuming. Motherfucking cow nut. That's what the fuck I get. Dairy is not for my body. You know what I'm saying. It's. We don't even supposed to be intaking this shit. So you be all right, then you eat some dairy, then you be like, my nose running. That is why, because I keep uh -uh -uh. Anyway, diet is it's so important. You know, we really think that, you know, I don't, I don't have to. I could go outside with my head wet, which I don't really like to do because my grandmama instilled it in me. That's how I get sick or whatever. So, But the truth of the matter is, I don't even have to wear a whole bunch of clothes. If my diet on point, my health is on point. Because <clears throat> you are what the fuck you eat. So if I'm eating live fruits and vegetables, I have a live life force. You know what I'm saying? I, if I eat raw, I have a raw live life force. If you eat dead, goddamn, your energy is dead. If you eat live, your energy is live. But, you know, I'm switching up shit on y'all again. You know how I do. Hold on, how many minutes I got? I, I'm cool. But, yeah, honey. I just really wanted to say don't be so hard on yourself if you do not um, go through with your resolutions. And it's okay to make resolutions. You should make them every day. Not, how y'all you doing? Not just on New Year's. You know what I'm saying? Be nice every day. Do nice shit every day. Take care of yourself every day. Work out every day. Because the truth of the matter is, if you don't lose, if you don't use it, you will lose it. And, you know, when you see older people out walking every day, they because they know that. You know what I'm saying? They know that. So if you see uh, somebody walking and you're like, why are they out walking? Because they, if you don't use it, you will lose it. So whatever your gifts and talents are this year, you know, make sure you use it before you lose it. I told y'all about how I used to sing. I used to sing like all over the city. <clears throat> I used to go to other states to sing. I used to go sing at school. <clears throat> I was a singer. 
And then when I started taking it for granted, I couldn't sing for years. God took my voice for years. I could not even hold a note, you know. And I think that really was a lesson for me that taught me when you have something, use it. You know, and don't think you're not good enough or smart enough or, you know, you got to perfect it or you got to learn more. Do what you have or what you got. You know what I'm saying? Make your shit happen for you. So don't go by anybody else's standards of, you know, what it should be. Do what you do. You know, I have a friend. <clears throat> there I go again. We were talking about, you know, gifts. And come on in. I ain't finna come out. We was talking about gifts. And she was saying that it's so many things. You got it. Come on. You ain't gonna hit me. Come on. Let me back out. Shit, I done dropped the damn phone. In the damn spot. See, I be tripping. Did I turn y'all off? Yeah, I be tripping. Drunk high and tripping. Yeah, so I was talking about my friend and she was saying, you know, she wanted to start a business, but she wasn't knowledgeable on this and she didn't have a degree and she wanted to do this and she got to learn this first. You ain't got to do shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to know the attitude. It ain't even, it don't even nowadays, it ain't even what you know is who you know. You know what I'm saying? It is who you know. And for real, God will put people in your path to make your dreams come true only if you believe in them. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, for real, squash out doubt, squash out fear. And I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to myself, too. Because for real, God will make a way out of no way. You know what I'm saying? And you got to know that to be true. But when I say that I'm far from perfect, but I'm even further from fucked up, quit beating yourself up about shit. And I have to do the same. I have to know that I ain't perfect, but I ain't fucked up either. You know what I'm saying? I ain't fucked up either. So, for real, another thing that I started, um, this is, was before the new year, back to my gratitude journal. Y'all who's been here a while know that I had a gratitude journal a couple of years ago. And I would write everything that I'm grateful about. I'm grateful about the nice girl at 7-Eleven. I'm grateful for a man that asked to pump my gas for me when I was getting my gas. I'm grateful for my son who took out the trash without me telling him. I mean, stuff that we take for granted every day. Write those things down and then see how many things you have to be grateful for. And know that you ain't perfect, but you even further from being fucked up. And actually, you are perfect. You're perfect enough to be made in God's image and God's likeness. So for real, we're going to try to stop beating ourselves up. And if you make a New Year's resolution and it don't fall through, that's okay. The real New Year's is coming when flowers is blooming and birds is mating and shit like that is happening. That's the beginning of spring. Spring equinox. Read up on it. And we going to for real do our own little New Year's resolution thing. Be better every day. That's what I'm saying. Be better every day, regardless the time, the date, or the year. That's one he'll say. That's why cars got steering wheels, because you can always turn around. So make sure that you being the best you you can be every day. Don't wait to New Year's to be your God self. Don't wait to, you know, January the 1st to be your God self. Because every day that you wake up, you should be your God self. You ain't perfect. But you further from being fucked up. And Crystal the Great, she is on Twitter tweeting her ass off every motherfucking day. So make sure you guys check out Crystal the Great. Crystal the Great. She is on Twitter and she is the bomb. So y'all check her out and go um, follow her. Because she tweet all motherfucking day. Unlike my damn self. But I told y'all the books that I won at the party. It was Black Trivia. And if you got the trivia right, you won books. And um, I'm taking pictures. I take pictures of the books that I won, and I will um, put them on Twitter. So if y'all not following me on Twitter, I'm high maintenance on Twitter, spelled the same exact way as the channel. So I got to go. But I just really wanted to say that. Actually, I was saying it to myself because I am really hard on myself. I'm probably my hardest critic, and sometimes I have to remind myself that I am that shit. You know what I'm saying? I forget. And I want y'all to remind y'all self, y'all ain't perfect, but y'all further from being fucked up. So don't don't let nobody tell you what you ain't. Don't let nobody make you think that you less than what the fuck you are. You are at the greater than sign. Them motherfuckers at the less than sign. You always that way, okay? That way. Okay. My fingernails fucked up, but I mean, I ain't fucked up about it either. So, y'all make sure y'all keep that in mind. Y'all don't get all sucked up by this hype of New Year's. What time is it? Okay, it's 9.53. I'm cool. 
So yeah, I'm finna go. But I just had to let y'all know that hey, be easy on yourself. Be easy on your motherfucking self. The same way you easy on other motherfuckers, be other motherfuckers. That sound real hood. Other motherfuckers. Be easy on your damn self. Don't persecute yourself for being human. In Jill Scott's voice, beautifully human. And it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to be beautifully human. And I think that's what Crystal the Great was saying by saying, I'm not perfect, but I'm either, I'm not perfect. Yeah, I'm not perfect, but I'm further from being fucked up. I done fucked up the goddamn quote. Crystal, I'm sorry for fucking up your quote. I'm far from perfect, but either further from being fucked up. That's the quote. So, yeah, check her out. Be easy on yourself. And if you made resolu um, New Year's resolutions, be easy. You know what I'm saying? Get your gratitude journal. Be easy. Just be easy about everything. E everything is small thing to a giant. You know what I'm saying? Don't sweat the small shit and everything is small shit. I for real like, you know, I still go out for my rents and shit. But I just got to be easy because I'm going to be 40. I got to be easy. I got to be easy like Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? In my Commodore's line of Richie voice. Y'all like my little gray scully? This lady, she a homeless lady, and she made this for me for Christmas. This is my favorite, favorite is this, this Christmas gift that I received. That a lady who doesn't have a place to live, I better start crying, thought enough about me to make me this hat. She gave it to me in a Ziploc bag, and I told her I'm going to wear the shit out this motherfucker. And I took a picture of it and I showed it to her because she was at the 7-Eleven. Because I be buying a lunch and coffee and shit because I don't pay no tithes to the church. I just spend my money in the streets. So, she was like, I got something for you. I made it. I don't know if she motherfucking made it or not. But the fact that you gave this shit to me, I wear this motherfucker like it's a Versace. Let me get the fuck out for her. I like my little hat, y'all. The lady gave me. I really like it. So, I got to go. But if y'all got any questions or comments, hit me at the bottom. Love y'all. Bye.